What's up, man? Welcome back to another episode of the Lobo. Hey, yeah, and in today's episode, we have UCLA on the schedule. As you can see, they are 4 and 2. We are 6 and 0, the number one team in the country, with arguably the number one defense in the country. Hopefully, that trend continues in this game. And hopefully, you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and we'll be notified the next time I drop a video just like this one. And also, slide in the comment section and talk to your boy. But I ain't gonna hold y'all up too much longer. I'm ready to play a game. I know y'all ready to see one? Let's get to it. And for the team stats, we'll take a a look at UCLA as their offense seems to be decent. 22nd in points, 14 in total yards, 37 in passing, 34 in rushing. They can get the job done. And on the defensive side, they're not as good. Ranked 86 in total points, 71 in total yards, 59 in passing, 79 in rushing. So they do allow teams to score points and get yards. And that's the thing that we do the best because we're number six in scoring points, number 17 in total yards. We're not absolutely great as far as passing the ball, but we are decent on the ground. And our defense is one of the best defenses in the country. Number two in points, number two in total yards, 77 in passing, but that's only 215 yards, and number one in rushing. We do have guys coming in for visits. We got Sticks Williams, the number one strong safety in the country, five star safety, I might add. Then we have Jerry Roosevelt, the number two cornerback, and we got Kyle Fletcher, the number four free safety. We'd we'll love to get all those guys. Top players for your low bowls, we got Tim Alvarez, we got Mr. Mr. Anderson and we got Damian DG Gilmore. Only three sacks so far this season. Hopefully he'll get a couple sacks in this game. Top players for UCLA, we got a 95 overall tight end, a 94 overall kicker, and a 93 overall outside linebacker. They do have some guys out with injuries. They got an offensive lineman that's out with a broken ankle. They got a cornerback that's out with broken ribs. And they got another cornerback that's out with a torn shoulder. Will we be able to torch those corners? We're gonna find out. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you. And we bring out the, the blue EA Sports NCAA jerseys pregame show and helmets. Presented by Nissan. Innovation Hope we got the excites. defense yelling. The Lobos have put the first part of the season in their rear view mirror. Don't a lot of times do that like no more. The into segments. A little bit more We're trying to up the score. That way off more than you can chew. That's they what they gonna say, bro. The first part of the season. The last part Hopefully. of the line still a little bit out of reach. Maintaining their Hopefully we can middle of the race. find key. some consistent quarterback play. Time. Been trying to stick with one quarterback to achieve that. And hopefully we can do that today. We'll see you at the half. And it's time. Yeah. You know we gonna hand the ball off to Day Day. Bitch! And if he get enough yards, he know he gonna get a payday. Because the HC don't mind giving out NIL. Oh shit! And I don't care if you hear me, y'all can send me to jail. We're here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, <laughs> situated on the mighty Rio Grande. Let's head down to the coin toss. We paying the players over here. Coca yes, I said it. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero Do something calories. about it. Enjoy every early. And then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. He's taking that down, down that that six yard line. Williams is the kind of kid that just over a thousand yards already. I mean, he's taking his game only halfway level. through, under his halfway. Are making everyone in the country take notes. And he's tackled at the 39. Let's go, beat me. Midfield. Knocked out of bounds. Baby! This is one of their special plays they like to call to keep the defense off balance. Get when your you run first in. first downs in unconventional ways, you have the edge over your opponent. <laughs> Tackle made at uh. the 32. That didn't even block him. Ran into him, but didn't block him. Back here got the football. He's looking up. Tries to buy some time. There's a strike. Yeah, Brian, Murphy. The 26 yard line. Murphy. Zips it to the back. He's tackled around the 22 yard line. He fights forward to about the 20. 
Oh yeah. Nice run up the middle. Oh yeah. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. There's a block. Darnell Mason Jr. Doing it on the ground. Well, a quarterback just showed us he can yes, beat you with sir. his feet as well as his arm. Get over there. And he's level at the 24. There we go. Did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was Don't we have a custom recruit for sure. plan for UCLA? They keep it on the ground with a tailback. I can't nice believe I missed there. that. But Smith I did. Picks up about seven yards on yeah, the we got. I think we got the receiver over there. Yeah, number 13, I believe. To the right. Oh, I can't get to him. That's not good. Has time. Go get him. I see him. Good defense. Pass. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. EA. To maybe the 40 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that. Okay. Get down. Decides to slide. They go with the option and pick up the first down. And oh. Here's the ball for a nice game. They get four yards on the They're trying to hurt action. Caleb. Run up the middle. Oh, yeah. The oh, line. yeah. They'll give it off here. Brought down at about the 17. We're going to kill him on the ground. A few moments later. He's going to throw it. Oh, no. Come on. What are you going to do now, big boy? This is why I don't sit in the pocket. Look at this. Terrible. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Tries to get around the corner. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the 43 yard line. I hope we didn't just give them momentum by doing it. No. I'm on the missed the tackles. And Damn. Damn. Right around the 30. That's a game of one seven in the way. First down. <laughs> and they push him out at the 25 yard line. And a great ball game. They're going to go right down there and score a watch. New Mexico's lead oh, because is a touchdown. The O-line whiffed on the block and the quarterback can't control the ball. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The 10. He gets to about the 5. That's not everyday speed you're talking Running about. Running all the way down. And they make the okay. shot around the 7 yard line. I'll give the defense all the credit here. Tackle after a decent okay. run up the gut. Let's go! No, sir! <laughs> Not a great place to be in, though. Each of the ten makes it out. Ooh, I was about to say, Daddy, you break that off. He's scrambling. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. The defense and got to nobody. Back goal after decent pickup. He's gonna try and scramble. There's Brian Murphy again. And he Brian is Murphy. 46 yard line. Been having a down year so far. But I'm looking for you today, my boy. Just get open. He's taken down. Right around the 44 yard. Thought I can cut back inside. 
They didn't work. He gets to about the 33 yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick Almost played it. He's at the 20. You almost played it. Get up in there. Taylor. Got his number call on the pass play and came through with a just score. had to be this patient. Separates good backs from great ones. You have to send it all on guys. Tribute to the passing game. Now I'm finna cook you like fries. <laughs> Seems like every game this guy's in the offense. Oh my god, yeah. bringing guys down. Takes it up the middle. A good for tackle. A nice run. Schmidt gets seven yards on the play. Open and there's the custom recruit. And there he is again. They'll bring him down around the 46 yard line. Quick throw brought by the fullback. Tackle made around the 46 yard line. Nice run there as they work the outside. They give to the tailback. Damn down. Down. After a nice pickup. That brings him second and five. There's a throw away. And he throws it away. Hey, he didn't. They third. gave it to hey, him. It's a, it's a first down for this offense. Yeah, not so sure about that, but I don't want to challenge it. Yes, I don't. Losing it, they gonna be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. Hey, a few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. You know what you did. You done messed up, A.A. Hey, Ron. Hey, Aim down at the 29 yard line. I cost him that. And he's taken down. Dalled on their last two trips to the red zone. Ah! Mm. At about the 13. And he dropped it. You a little scared. Denied. And he's going to be stopped short. And he's brought down quickly. Yeah. Going to the end zone and it's coming back out. And it's Michael Bowden. Will it be a big six? Yes, it will. Let's go. Touchdown, Lobos. For Pollard, the team record for career picks is now hit. Don't a throw at Michael Bowden. Dedicated and cerebral player who always seems to be a step ahead of the offense. He hasn't really been getting put picks this year. Pick, 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 pick. Spin it out. <laughs> Football remaining. New Mexico okay. got a three touchdown advantage. So the defense shuts them down in the end zone again. Glad to have you with us in the studio. Stop them from the scoring Sports again. NCAA football 14 and we're up 21 show, to 0. Presented by Nissan. Innovation. Minus the fumble that we lost. David Pollock here completely I feel like this game has been a flawless game for us. The best word I can think of. We didn't gave up some yards, a yes, we gave up some yards, but the most important thing, of emotion. It was very they did not get in the end zone. And this is a team that understands what it needs to accomplish out there. Absolutely, do what you do. Hey, hey Ron, doing his business. thing. We got Michael Pollard with the pick be, six. But they take care of the little things, and the little things add up to something big. And he ain't really been getting no picks this year. I expect the lead to continue but he got that one, and that's all that matters. It doesn't mess around. I will take it. always takes care of business. You can trust this team. This is a team that week after week has put these type of performances together to say, you know what? Not doing a whole lot passing, which I'm not really concerned about that. We are moving the ball on the ground. As long as we can continue to do that, eventually the passing lines will open up. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. Makes it out to a All right, they're going back to the run. a nice run like that. Oh. Open field. And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. 
Here's the Ooh, oh, I see the open toe. AP no rolling. He know what time it is. Young man, you got knocked the fuck out. Gotcha, bitch. Stop. Got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play I see you doing it. Starting. This young man didn't even the have other a chance look. to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. He tackled him and the other guy back there. Here they come. Get that! Here's the... Nope, they snap into the up back. There's a fake. Oh, my God. Really? Now he tries to buy some time. Here they come. Tries to get around the corner. He's got about At the 46. the middle for a nice game. Nice run. Okay. Man, he He'll just him down for a loss. disregarded the offensive line. Got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat. It's a snap of the ball. Quick to his receiver. There we go. They make the stop. The 24 yard run. Go, DJ. Now he's scrambling. He might not be Throw able to get the pass off. He gets rid of this one. Do the smart thing. Let's see, it looks like they do. He's going left. Looks like they do. Touchdown, oh, he's BB! He's his receiver for the touchdown. The wide out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his yes, team successful. Yes, sir. It was a pretty simple. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. Could have picked that out, okay? It's an intelligent play by the defender. And he's level at the 47. A little misdirection. They go to the left for a nice game. Got a man, watch out. Right behind him. Around the 25 yard line. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times you don't need much more than that. No, sir. And they hit him in the backfield. That's a loss of four yards. That play was sort of out of sync from the start. But you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. Not going they for this. read it from the get go. Uh, there we go. All right. Say three yards there. Right. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. The number one Magic General, you want a minute game? He's in there. He launches one for the you gotta pick that. intercepted e? That's the junior corner. That's Jeremy Davis. Already getting blown out. Now another interception. I don't know why he pissed the ball, but that walk over to the sideline for these guys. <laughs> That could have been real bad. Stick it to these receivers with tighter cover. Come on, man. We got to have more here. resistance than that. Wide receiver screenplay. He's to the floor. There's Smokey. He's at midfield. There's Smokey. He'll bring him down at about the 33 yard line. There we go, Smokey. He said, Coach, you can tell them that I'm not high today. At least not right now. <laughs> Big opening. Decides to slide. We ain't taking no hits. Oh no! Yeah, it's big. Picked off. At this point, we're talking moral victories for this team. Yes, uh, it's been I a took a shot, day. and I should have never took it. Quit, and they came up with an interception here. Can't help but to throw an interception. This is in my blue. Looks left, finding his tailback. I'm gonna get it, Katie! Tackle at the 40 yard line. He just stopped. Number 25 with the tackle at the 40 yard line. He, read, he had it right in the direction where the pass is going, and he just stopped. I believe. 
I'm loading my faux fo and I'm about to let it blow. And that's the end of the third quarter. Pretty dominant performance, if I say so myself. Despite the turnovers. Come on, bro. Come on. That's what y'all gonna do on third and long. They'll bring him down at the 39. Man, I'm not sure if the players on the return team were all on the same page there. Brought down at the 42. Williams gets a ball left side. Damn. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. He's on the run. And he just gets rid of it. Excellent. I think so Lightning Queen is wide open. Him to go three and out. <laughs> it's away and it's a booming punt. I don't know why I couldn't catch that, but okay. The zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. New Mexico's defense, they've got the hit factor. We all over everything. He's under some heat. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. And down he goes around the 33 yard line. It's first down. And, and it's dropped. Incomplete. It might not be a lot of fun. And he goes down quickly. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Oh, come oh, on, man. And he's taken down around the 41-yard line. Hitting the middle of the field every time. He's tackling the 27-yard line. Ah, no! He's got space to work. Oh. And he's finally out of bounds at the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. Come on, man. Oh, damn it. The red zone has not been kind to this offense. Are they going to end this drought? No, sir. He tackles him for a loss. The problem at times with pitch outs is they're really slow to develop. And in this case, the defense had plenty of time. Room around the corner. Damn it. Bruins. Not expecting the quarterback Things around. Get pretty fierce in this territory. Run, run, run. On the ground with the tailback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Just cannot find the blocks today. Defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive, and making plays against the run. They'll work the left side. Okay. He's at the 20, inside the 10. Now we getting outside. Saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Now we getting outside. That they're probably gonna say that you stole this touchdown, but it is what it is. Because again, they put so much time in trying to put the game. The fumbles! And they fall on the loose ball. Where it go? Oh my god, who had the big hit? Sloppy job by the ball carrier. Is that Bobby Reed? You should always be concerned about the ball. Bobby making reads? They hand it off. He takes it right side for a good game. He might have a chance. And there's Bailey. There's Bailey. He's in. 
New Mexico staff, they've got to love getting this touchdown. This kid in this situation, week in and week out. That play was over before it got I guess started. they just giving up so now. Just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Run down after a nice run up the middle. He's tackled at about the 41. Should have been the picked defense. off. And he tackles him hard at the 43 yard line. Smith picks up two yards. Like, what are y'all trying to do? And he took a shot on that play, Brad. He fights forward to about the 46. I don't think they'll get another playoff. Nope. And your New Mexico Lobos will come out with a dominant victory. 42 to 7. The Lobos know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because some We love you, Day Day. He's going to be at the next level. Hope well, you'll stay stay. Be in his future. For a little bit now, longer. He needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and and really the play caller, the quarterback, And they gave the it to Darnell Mason Jr. Okay. I figured that'd probably be Day Day, but anyway, good about their performance. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street. This is Brad. I think I just about got this team figured we'll out, bro. Time. The defense, they gonna do their thing. All we need is the offense to not get in the way. Just don't get in the way. Don't be throwing pick sixes. Matter of fact, don't be throwing no interceptions. Don't be fumbling the ball. And let that a work. And the defense will handle the rest. Also helps that we got VB getting open here. That'll help. And that he finally gets outside and scores at the end. But yeah, I don't have too many. I don't have too many complaints about this game. Darnell Mason Jr. went 8 of 12, 157, two TDs, did have the interception. I took a shot, 50 50 ball, and the defense came away with it. So it is what it is. On the wrestling side, Daddy led the way with 146 yards on 20 carries. Also had a TD. Darnell Mason Jr. also had a TD on the ground. And Caleb Cruz had one as well. On the receiving side, not a whole lot going on over there, but we do got Brian Murphy getting 41 yards on two receptions. Smoky Potts had 40 yards on two receptions. 39 of those 40 came off of one play. And Caleb Cruz had a receiving TD. VB also had a receiving TD. On the defensive side, Arsenio Patillo led the way with 10 solo tackles, three TL fails. Shout out to you, my boy. Justin Martinez had eight solo tackles and a pass deflection. Caleb Jackson had five solo tackles. 14 fails and two sacks that's more like it my boy that's more like it michael pollard only had four solo tackles but he did have the interception that was returned for 100 yards yes sir that might have earned you the thumbnail my boy and we also have jeremy davis getting an interception also had a tfl as well frank st martin had two tfls trying to earn yourself some playing time my boy i see you a run only had one tackle but it did go for a tfl and a sack and for the game stats the box score pretty much tells it all. We don't give up a single point into the fourth quarter. We score 7, 14, 7, and then 14. And that leads to a 42 to 7 victory. Dominant performance by my defense. Just dominant overall from my team. UCLA did win the first down battle, but we won a rushing yard battle. They did win the passing yard battle, but we won a turnover battle. And they also beat us in time of possession. But only 10 seconds though. You really could say it was pretty much even. Yeah, but the defense they not going for it they just not going for it bro your offense really got to be off the chain to score on his defense consistently and we already seen that Darnell Mason Jr. was the offensive player of the game Arsenio Patillo was the defensive player of the game AP no rolling forcing a no nah, he didn't force a fumble he recovered a fumble so for the recruiting board we do have some good news but before we get into the good news well the biggest news Cecil Longoria we're losing on him hopefully we don't get locked out but if we do I got a lock pick Dominic Nito De La Vega, we're number one on his board. Or Ben Valkenberg, number one on his board. Kyle. 
number one on his board. Sticks Williams, we're number one on his board as well. And the rest of these guys are just regular recruits. And did you hear the news about there not being custom recruits in the new game coming out? Yeah, I heard that. I feel like that's terrible, but anyway, don't want to get down right now. The rest of these guys got a lot of offensive linemen going on here because you know we need offensive linemen. Got some defensive linemen as well, also linebackers and strong safety. But Jerry Roosevelt has committed to the team. Another custom recruit. Welcome to the Lobos, my boy. And this is the first week of the college football playoff top 25. And it has Georgia at number one and us at number two. But we're number one in the coaches poll, probably. Yeah, we're number one in the coaches poll. But anyway, it is what it is. Notre Dame is number three. Florida State is number four. Oregon State is number five. Florida is number six. Oregon sitting at seven. Georgia Southern sitting at eight. Texas A and them at three and three sitting at number nine. Oh my god and we got Ole Miss at number 10. Let's roll on down here so you guys can see the rest no need to go through all this and we got Arkansas oh my god four and three sitting at number 19. Uh what else we got going on not a whole lot and for the conference standings we're right in the middle of the season we're 4-0 in the conference 2-0 in the division the team that was behind us was ucla and we just beat them the pac 12 south is looking real real bad right now and on the north side oregon state is number one 3-0 in the conference haven't played a divisional game yet california is right behind them at 3-1 0-1 in the division and we got oregon sitting at number three they're two and one in the conference haven't played a divisional game yet and for the Heisman watch Day Day is still sitting on top good for you Day Day hopefully we can continue this for the rest of the season at number two we got Ray Harden straight from Georgia number three we got Tyler Logan from Notre Dame at four we got Curtis Patton from Army and at number five we got Dominic Finley from Florida State. Arsenio Patillo did win the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Week. So shout out to you, AP No Rolling. Okay, so after dominating UCLA, wouldn't let that shit happen to me though. We are sitting pretty right now, right in the middle of the season. 7-0, 4-0 in the conference. Number one team in the country as far as the coaches poll. Number two as far as the college football playoff. We did exactly what we need to do against UCLA. Now we're moving on to Colorado. Hopefully, we'll come out with another dominant the performance we don't want a two and five team oh and four in the conference to upset us or get even close to thinking about winning the game we want this to be exactly the way we did ucla hopefully even better and you know what will make me feel better you guys hit the like button subscribe to the channel hitting that notification bell you'll be notified the next time i drop a video just like this one and also sliding in the comment section and talking to your boy and if you do all those great things you can't get on the shout out list speaking of the shout out list i got it right here shout out to michelle jackson Product Visuals, Eric Rams, Matt Ahrens, Warmaster777, Thomas Bays, Dare, Deontay Patterson, Jack of YouTube, Arsenio Patillo, Andrew Minton, Aaron Meyer, Roscoe underscore 34, Crafty, Eagle Craft, Little Hair Guy, Cameron Hewlett, Quan D, Matthew Diller, Dirty Creek Sports, Leland Clark, The Rock and Roll Millennial, Tay Burns, Ethan Marlowe, Aaron Kaufman, the number one Mega General, Sean Griggs, HB, FLG Blanco, Wheelchair Man 2, Envy Me, Gandy Man, Sean Malden, and LaRon Danny. And like I say in every episode, I appreciate all you guys and guys for doing the things that you do helping this channel get to where it is we are 38 subscribers away from 2k we getting close we're getting real real close and i appreciate y'all but i ain't hold y'all up for too much longer i am your hc this is the lobos series what this is five seasons now or six i don't know i'm tripping <laughs> Got too many dynasties, man. I'm trying to keep up with it. Yes, it is six seasons. I just went and checked. I'm tripping. <laughs> But yeah, man, hopefully we can finish off this season the right way, but we got to take it one game at a time. But until next time, I'm out.